A Fairfield boy is out of the hospital tonight after he got the scare of his young life. A venomous copperhead snake bit him. 11-year-old Ethan Aldridge was vacationing with his family in Tennessee when he felt sharp fangs pierce his finger. Nine on your side's Jason Law spoke to the little boy and his mother about what they did next in the critical moments when seconds count. Jason? Yeah, this is scary. Ethan's mother says this is the one emergency where it is very handy to have a smartphone. She says she jumped on her phone and looked up what to do in the event of a snake bite. And she did this while her 11-year-old son waited for help. 11-year-old Ethan Aldridge has some story to tell his friends when he starts seventh grade at Fairfield Middle School this fall. Wednesday afternoon, he was interviewed by a Tennessee television station. I was hoping it didn't go to my heart because I didn't want to die. I was freaking out like crazy. Monday, Ethan was climbing a wall near the Ocoee River in Tennessee when a copperhead lunged out and bit his left hand. I Skyped with Ethan and his mother a few hours after he was released from the hospital. Tell me how your hand feels tonight. Uh, my finger is still numb from the bite, but otherwise it's pretty good, painless. He has good pain medication. Oh, good, good. <laughs> In a panic, Ethan's mother turned to her phone for help. The joy of having a smartphone is that I was able to look up very quickly what we needed to do. Jeanette told her son to stay calm and not put any pressure on the bite. He took a deep breath and he just immediately calmed himself down and elevated his hand and did everything that he was told to do. Ethan is expected to be okay. Doesn't look like he's going to lose any tissue, but that's always a possibility with a snake bite. Um, he does have some dead tissue, but it's not, it's not to the, the extent that, um, that he's going to lose mobility in his hand. Now, as ridiculous as this sounds, doctors say you have to stay calm. The more excited you get, the faster your heart beats and pumps more blood throughout your body and could spread the venom faster to your soft tissue. So in the event, the unlikely event, you get bit by a snake, you got to do what Ethan did. You have to stay calm. We're live tonight. Jason Law, 9 on your side.